Alright you guys, Enmon, great utility for getting a feel for what your server is doing for you server administrators out there. I'm just going to try to walk through this process. Um, I guess the first thing I'm going to do is going to go ahead and pull up a play session to... Oh, let's decide which server. One that's reasonably busy. Um, let's go to DMW Secure. Pull that up. Gonna join one of my previous screen sessions. For those of you who are familiar with that utility, it's very handy. Recommend looking into it. Uh, gonna go to a good place to compile this. Um, let's go ahead and go to uh, USR user um, uh, local source. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and make the directory in mon. going to change directory to it. Okay, nothing there. Uh, one second here. going to go ahead and <coughs> pull up the Enmon website. Uh, there we go. Uh, you click on download, you're just going to get a bunch of pre-compiled binaries. Just kind of a waste of your time, in my opinion. If you're running Linux, you got a C compiler installed, just go ahead and go to Compiling Enmon. The reason I'm doing this is um, Enmon really isn't all that packaged, um, but it's easy to compile. Here we got this Elmon 14i, which happens to be the current version. This is just a big line of successive versions. Just go with the newest one here. There's only two files you need to download. I'm going to just right click on here, copy link address, jump over here to the server, my source folder. I'm going to wget that file down. Uh, there it is, right there. And then I am just gonna go grab this document files, waste your time. Just grab that make file. Copy link address. Get. Gonna go snag that down here. Uh, it named it right. Sometimes it names it download. Just rename it to make file. You're gonna need it to be named that. Um, also, oddly enough, this make file expects a file called lmon.c without the version. So just copy or move whatever Elmon and to lmon.c I'm not sure Elmon must I assume must have been a previous name of Enmon I don't know really doesn't um, so I'm just gonna copy that over it's not a big file server's kinda busy I'm gonna go ahead and um, type make to compile it it's a very simple compile it doesn't check a ton of dependencies or anything like that. That's all there is to it. It's not crazy. Um, it's going to create a binary. Um, in this case, it has a specific name, power, R H E L, for probably like Red Hat release or something. I don't know for sure. Um, I'm only going to take this part of the name there, though. There's just the Enmon. Going to go ahead and copy Enmon the new compiled binary in monpower rl3 i um, going to copy it to user local um, bin this works if you have it in the path you may have to just put it in user bin but in mon after that so in the same process i'm copying it and i'm renaming it um, to the actual name of the program go ahead and hit enter in here. I happen to have this in my path. It's going to be in the path of most Linux um, installations. Uh, I'm just going to go to my home folder here uh, and uh, I'm just going to type nmon. Show you what we got here. Um, immediately, well, first off, I have to make sure my terminal is in UTF-8 else I'm going to get a bunch of funny characters here but I already have it in that. Um, start off with some great options here. These 
characters here correspond with what you're going to be able to see for stats. Um, C for CPU. So this shows me like my CPU is on the server. There's 24 procs on the server. It's pretty pretty big server. Um, I can hit C again, toggle that off. I can hit H and see my list of stuff. But the ones I kind of look at the most frequently is V, which gives me a real quick assessment. This tells me um, kind of subjectively my disk is what's suffering, my CPU not so much. Uh, L gives me my um, CPU over uh, the lifespan. Um, so important things here, you, uh, the screen you is user, uh, user programs running, S for system, and then weight is in blue with the W's here. Um, oftentimes, unless you have solid state drives, the weight is going to be uh, on the disks is going to be one of your biggest um, bottlenecks for um, server execution. It's the problem you're going to run into the most often. So that that being said, what weight is is when programs are waiting for disk input and output. So I'm going to hit D, lowercase D, and it's going to pull me up my disks, and I'll kind of be able to see what's going on there. And then if if your um, if your user and system are running high, you can hit T for top, which is real nice, and it just slaps you know your your top uh, uh, most CPU intensive programs um, right there. It's a real handy little program for you. Um, keep an eye on your server. Um, what's especially nice is is you got this going on here that you know you can have it on a second monitor and just get a glance at it and and know whether or not a server is happy by how colorful it is. If it's really colorful, it's probably not real happy. So you have to do something about that. Anyways, that's Enmon. It's a great program. I I def definitely recommend uh, checking it out if you're a server administrator. Um, and uh, that is that. I hope you enjoy that program. Take care.